the exact same, but obviously we're going to see it from slightly different perspectives. Because Akuma is a very, very special and new addition to Tekken 7. Yeah. It comes from the Street Fighter franchise. Yeah, of course, yeah. So uh, let's, let's go with Akuma in, in this part of the story mode. And I guess what we're showing is like, uh, this came from, I, I know that Tekken 7 is in uh, the Unreal Engine for the first time this year. Uh, and having spoken to Harada-san, who's the kind of the creative overlord of the series, he was talking about wanting to stop the series from just being, you know, you go into, a, you have like a little two or three second little cutscene, and then you're just punching each other in the face. And this is a lot more of a kind of an attempt to blend the cinematics uh, with the story um, and with the fighting, which is something which he, he told me anyway, was more possible now that the, the, the Unreal Engine is in. So what are we seeing here? What kind of, can you set the scene? Right, so basically, um, in the, Mish Mi the Mishimas, it's the family, yeah. they, uh, there's, there's some kind family. of family food for yeah. whatever reason, and uh, hey, Kazumi, the wife of Heihachi, has sent Akuma to stop Heihachi on some kind of, uh, you know, mysterious uh, kind of... It's kind of like a supernatural revenge quest, is the vibe I was yes. getting. So Heihachi is uh, just kneeling and kind of having a think in the time where he beat his own wife mm. to death many years ago <laughs> as part of their family feud. Uh, and then he's interrupted by Akuma, right? And here he is. And there he is. You ever thought about adopting a Heihachi hairstyle, Rob? No. <laughs> I have. So one of the things about Tekken, in, especially you know throughout the entire series, is that it's known for its CG. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, for me personally, like when playing some of the older Tekken games, it was always you know a spectacle just to go through arcade mode every character just to see that CG I ending. I remember totally on the original PlayStation, like Tekken 3's graphics were you know this is from another time. Yeah, it's, it's like an amazing reward for having completed arcade mode which you got to unlock a bunch of cool movies as well as unlocking extra characters. Edwin, anyway, can I just ask you to just move your microphone slightly closer to your... Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, okay. just kind of bend it in Is there. Is that better? Yeah. Oh, hello. Now I can hear myself. Hey, hey. Right. Oh, oh no, I'm getting beaten. Sorry, man. I wasn't trying to distract you. So, uh, Akuma, he still has all his, uh, you know, iconic moves. Oh, I'm... So know, this sorry. is another challenge that uh, Harada-san was talking to us about is bringing characters in from, in this case, Street Fighter, making them fight in the Tekken style, but still feeling like their original moveset is, is kind of, you know, is, is stayed with the character. So there are a few differences between doing a story mode battle and uh, a standard versus one. For example, you get these little cutscenes in between the match when, uh, you know, it makes it a bit more, you know, cinematic and engaging as well. You can definitely see the kind of fusion of Street Fighter and Tekken styles here as well, can't you, with Akuma? And when you're hands-on, you know, like, it, you just get that mindset of, okay, if I was playing a Street Fighter character, what would I do? You do a quarter turn circle and punch button, and then, yeah, then suddenly you're, like, launching moves that you're familiar with. So this is new. Very, very much Very new. cinematic kind of finishing style. <laughs> <laughs> Die a thousand deaths. <laughs> I'm always saying that. So I think this is, um, am I right in thinking as well that Tekken 7 is kind of, uh, it's going to be a summing up of the Mishima family kind of uh, into like their entire storyline. Yeah, that's right. So it answers a lot of uh, questions like, for example, why, why did Heihachi throw his son over a volcano? Yeah, that, that may seem unreasonable to some <laughs> people. That's what he does though, isn't it? Uh, just what not, he does. It's what they've been doing know, for a long not, time. I wouldn't be one of those, one, I wouldn't be one of those kind of fathers that <laughs> yeah. sets them a challenge to find back up. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, pretty much the preview of the story mode. There isn't, uh -huh. Obviously, we could do it again through Heihachi's point of view, but yeah. for the most part, it is going to show off the same scenario. Sure, so it's kind of broken up by kind of little cutscenes, and then as you progress through the story mode, yeah. uh, is the kind of you know is the narrative delivered to us through the fights in that same way? Uh, well, at the moment, I can't confirm you know the exact details, but um, obviously, it's not going to be focused purely on Heihachi, Kazumi, and. Uh, Akuma. Sure. Uh, we've, already, we've already confirmed that one of the new characters, Claudio, he's going to play a pretty big part uh, in the story, and Heihachi obviously confronts him 
uh, and he's wearing a, quite a nice jacket, you know, like, you know, one of those old school British detective jackets. Right, right, with right. With a hat yeah, as yeah. well. <laughs> uh, is he available for us in this build? Because we should get to fighting each other, man. Is he, is uh, Claudio, is he available in Versus on this yes, build? Yes, so Claudio, who's actually introduced uh, when Tekken 7 was first announced. Uh -huh. And uh, you'll, you'll see him here. He's, you can see that he's got a very uh, distinct white coat. And if I just highlight him, where is he? He is over. Oh man. There I'm going to jump in. There, there we go, Claudio. Oh wait, I think you might need to sign in on your controller. Oh really? Yep. Okay. Is this one plugged in? Yeah. yeah there, okay. there we go. And then just go to a guest account. Cool, cool. Yeah. So here, so this is Claudio. You can see that you know he, he looks like he's part of some kind of faction, uh, and the story mode is going to reveal more on uh, what his role his is background. in the story. Yeah. Cool. Right. Can well, you fight without being law? Uh, <laughs> oh, he's gone straight away. Oh, thanks, Rob. You've revealed. Well, I should be a new character, right? So who do you? Uh, if we're going to be showing off some of the new additions, who do you think we should? Uh, who should I choose? And well, then I'll be law after that. Let's have a look. I mean, did you ever play Street Fighter? Uh huh. Because uh, then I honestly just give a Kuma a go. If you cool. if, if you played a uh, Street Fighter, then you're comfortable with his moves. Let's show him off. Cool. Uh, I'll also go for Poster Boy uh, Kazuya. Okay. Man, I'm gonna get a trashing, but then I'm gonna be Law, and then it's <laughs> and then uh, it's you're on. Still gonna lose, and that'll be even worse for you. Almost certainly, but I might get to beat you, Rob. So. <laughs> so uh, Nathan, can I can I just ask, like, what was your history with uh, Tekken? Like, how did, also, it, how did it all start off? I came to it, I didn't have a PlayStation, and I went to, I, I arrived at university, and there was a copy of Tekken, and uh, there was a PlayStation, Tekken 3, and PlayStation, uh, just in the kind of shared flat. And, you know, it was like, with many people, I think it was probably the thing which almost uh, unrailed my, derailed my education. So it was, <laughs> it was up until 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, playing Lord just kind of continuously, a bit of Brian thrown Doing in. Doing the same move over and over and over and Actually, over again. Actually, yeah. not with, not with Law, no. Yeah, what were. about you, man? Who did you start? What's your, who's your character? Well, Rang's my man. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. But I'm good with a variety of <laughs> tech <laughs> <Right>. characters. <laughs> Jack of all trades and a master, master of none. Master of none. And we'll, well, we'll see that when, when you come out. And then, so I, I was, yeah, good at second three to a certain, you know, maybe not... You know, there's people over on that stage over there who are really good. I was probably, I was like, you know, I could beat my friends, is what I'm okay, saying. So, so you were definitely up there as the top? Of the top of the six-man tree that we had at university, okay. yeah. But then okay. I kind of drifted away a little bit, and I've come back into it. Tekken 6, uh, I kind of spent some time with, and then Tekken 7, honestly, looks like the best one for, for quite some time, so I'm very excited. Oh, good block, straight away. Thanks, man. Well, now you're going to lose. I can't remember any of his moves. Okay, so if I... Just oh, get beaten up. Break. See, do you think you can pull off the fireball? Uh, I can try. Hey! There he is. Oh man, the rage arts as well is new, isn't it? And I've uh, I've forgotten how to use them. <laughs> oh! I thought I'd sidestep well, that punch. Perfect, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's still time. Yeah, we got first the three rounds, you know. Oh, good shuriken. How does Kasuya fight in that suit? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, I keep trying to sidestep, because that's what I do with Laura all the time. Ooh. Ooh. Well, there's no mercy being shown here. Thanks, Edwin. <laughs> Have you been practicing lots, Edwin, in Ouch. the office? Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have got to set up in the office, right? Make me feel better about this, man. <laughs> it's raining now. Everyone looks, everyone looks nice and slick. Come on, Nate, just one round. I'm trying to, like, you know, I don't know any combos. The best you can say about my performance is that I'm not button -man. Maybe we should let you be Law in the next fight. I think that's probably true. Ouch! Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind going out this way. This is fine. At least we're getting to show something off. That's pretty special. So, Edwin, yeah. explain what you did there to finish me. All right. So, what that was was called the Rage Art. Yeah. It's a new feature in Tekken 7. As you can see, it's a very cinema cinematic uh, way of ending. Well, you don't have to end it. You can actually just use it whenever you've got uh, Rage. So, yeah. when you are low on health, you can start to glow red. That means you can um, deal more damage to your opponent. Sure. 
So obviously the drawback is you've got way less health than your opponent. And then it also counts on the kind of the, the meter at the bottom of the screen, is that right? Once that's filled up, then your rage arts so, are available? Um, well, the gauge at the bottom. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's only for Akuma, because obviously um, in, in Street Fighter, everyone had super characters. meters. Uh, but obviously in Tekken, no one, no one does except for Akuma. So in order to make uh, Akuma feel a bit more natural yeah. in the Tekken universe, he's got a super gauge. I understand now. Rob, do you want to go? Before no, I think we should show you his law first. All right, no, man. Okay. Well, I, what, so this is just so I can be actually humiliated, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Thanks, man. Okay, well, let me try out... Well, so you are pretty good with law, so you I'll might try have out a chance. Pool. Okay, okay Paul. I know Paul. This is kind of like a classic uh, rivalry between the two throughout the series. Yeah, yeah, I will say that... Uh, Paul versus Law was the that was the three four a.m. battles that we used to have when I used to play Tekken three. So, um, how are you feeling about Harang, Rob? Do you remember his moves? I think so. Yeah. I think I, I can't remember the actual button presses, but I th I'm hoping my thumbs will remember muscle memory. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm hoping will happen. I've always been a big admirer of Paul's hairstyle. Um, I remember in Tekken 3 as well, in their interests, you know, like uh, every fighting character has got like special interests. I remember Paul's for shopping, which I, <laughs> which I, he's a big man, but he really likes shopping. I always thought that was nice. Well, aren't Law and Paul friends as well? They've yeah, a little they, friendly rivalry going on. Yeah, this is, I think, is this Forest Law or is it? Uh, no, this is Martial Law. Is it? Yeah, big boy. He's about 90 years old at this point. <laughs> and he's looking pretty good. Uh, I don't know about that, he's got a few scratches here and there. Yeah, he's been weathered. Uh, so where's, I, I always wonder where forest lore is, you know what I mean? Where martial lore is in the games instead. Who knows? On holiday. <laughs> On holiday, maybe busy making movies, who knows? <laughs> so these are my rage arts here, I'm, my rage drive, and I should pay yeah, attention so rage to art, it's, it's, a, it's just a very simple input for the most part. Yeah. Rage drives are a lot more... Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, rage drives are a bit more like uh, used in combos usually or uh, China in specific situations. The silence of concentration. I know, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm still getting smashed up though. Oh, I've timed that all wrong. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. You've not disgraced yourself at least in this round, Nathan. It's oh, over. I haven't got that though, have I? Oh, it's not over. I think it is though. It looks like it might be over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it looked good, so I can, you know, I can't really complain. It looks stunning. You got to say as well, haven't you? I think the Unreal Engine has done yeah. real favors to the Tekken series. Oh man, that little uh, flip kick combo is just Paul's bread and butter, isn't it? Ow, it's quite I, humbling, isn't it, going up against someone who really knows my what side, they're doing? My sidestepping game is just not, it's not there today. Come on, Nath. You could do one round. I thought I connected there and I hadn't. Let him win one round. Don't let me win. <laughs> It's fine if I lose. Oh. oh. Have you done it, Nate? Oh, yeah. nice. I believe I have. Have I? Yes, good. Great. Nice that, look how much health you had. That is going, that's the sliver. only thing we're going to upload to the channel, is that round. <laughs> you never oh, know. You I haven't could. even got a throw in yet. <laughs> the old tread. Ouch. This is quite close. Oh, there we no, go. Hey. It's not close. It's the ball <laughs> walks straight into that. <laughs> oh, I can't, you cannot sidestep that kick. Can you take more, it to a deciding round, mate? I should be more defensive. defensive. Oh. Oh, it's close. Oh. Him oh. on his dance. Oh. oh, it is a decider. <laughs> Final round. Oh, this is tense. Oh. Nathan's taking a little lead here. Oh, I've oh. got right up into that. Smash. Good block. I can't call this. Oh. This is close. Oh, man. I was trying to deflect, and I really shouldn't have been. 
Oh, there he is, there he is. Here we go. Get out of the way. Oh. That might be it. And I can't look. Yeah, oh, it's finished. Well played. <laughs> oh, well played, Edwin. You know thanks, what? Thanks I for would... letting me get close, man. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a good, that was a good fight. Rob, I think it's your turn, man. I want to see your harangue in action. You know We're what? Not I, want see, I want to see a PlayStation Access showdown. Okay. Oh, all right. Sure, sure, right, let's then. do this. Who should I be? Who's my only other character that I'm good with? I can sort Brian. Of, I can play with Brian a little bit, and I do like Brian's laugh as well. Is there anyone else that you want to show off, Edwin? Um, <laughs> well, one person in the audience has just asked for Lucky Chloe, so she's the one just down there. Maybe we'll let you do that, because otherwise, unless you want to see just the basic kicks and punches, <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to let me and Rob do it. Steve's in it, Brian's in it. Good old Yoshimitsu. Who are you going to be now? I'm going to be Brian. Brian. Brian's the man. Well, the cyborg. Oh, Jack's in it. Are you looking for a Hwarang or are you just knocking yeah, it Yeah, where is Hwarang? Is he here? Up, oh, over there. Up. Oh. Has he got an eye patch? There we go. He's got an eye patch. He's got an eye patch. It looks now. a lot different to how I remember. Let's see if his feet are still the same. <laughs> That's what he's saying about you as well, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he is. <laughs> you guys have got old. All I remember about Brian are really, really brutal, quick punches and and like and that maniacal laugh. So who's your number two character, Rob? Probably Law, actually, or Lei yeah. Lung, I used to play as quite a lot. Yeah, Lei's, I don't <coughs> think Lei's in this, is, Lei is not re he returning, is. is he? Who knows? <laughs> he's, he's not in this current character roster. Yeah, I used to really annoy, I used to annoy all my friends when I was late, because I just used to lie on the floor. The drunken master the technique. Lie yeah. on the floor all the time until they got close to me, and then he did a little leg swipe from underneath. Those combos combo that you hit. could do from lying down yeah. with your head towards them were... I used to absolutely love doing that. What a ridiculous fighting strategy. I used to try and be good with Dr. Boskonovich from Tekken 3. Oh, yeah, man. It was so hard to get the good The battles that we used to have with Gon and uh, Dr. B like that little lizard thing and Dr. Boskonovich. The battle of the trolls, basically. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you could actually pull off a round or a whole match with Dr. Boskonovich, bragging rights basically forever. <laughs> I think we're in. I think Brian's about to get mechanical on your okay. ass. Oh, assuming only use only use D-pad, D-pad, yeah, D-pad right. and front four buttons. I'm just going to start off with uh, getting kicked in the face. Oh, Bang. oh, that was rude. Ouch. Oh, nice. Ouch. So you're both in rage. That means you've both got more damage. Whoa. See how much damage that did. Little shot to the face there. <laughs> well, I've won one round, so. Oh. Ouch! I'm trying to do that side step move I used to like, but I am getting beaten, so maybe I should just punch you. Yes! Ouch. I'm going down, what's <laughs> happening? I can't not so win if it. If there's anything like mine and Dave's match of Rocket League, this is where I absolutely just crumble under pressure Good. and need to make a massive comeback and win. I feel like it's... I mean, you're not... Yeah, you're really not that bad with the rank. I do love his kick. He's got... His kicks are almost oh, like being long range. Wow, just been three absolutely rounds smashed. Great. Don't clap that. that <laughs> <laughs> I think I've, I've heard in my ear. That's actually what we've got time for. So I am going to...